Did you know that most people spend their entire lives chasing success, happiness and fulfillment only to feel like something is still missing? The truth is, no matter how hard you work or how many goals you achieve, lasting success and joy require something deeper, self-discipline, emotional resilience and a clear sense of purpose. If you want to unlock your true potential, navigate life's challenges and find meaning in everything you do, you need to master the habits and mindsets that shape extraordinary lives. This isn't about quick fixes or overnight success. It's about building a foundation that transforms how you think, act and grow every single day. Throughout this journey, we'll explore powerful strategies to overcome fear, let go of what no longer serves you, and cultivate the patience and gratitude that fuel personal growth. We'll dive into how to turn failures into stepping stones, harness the impact of positive thinking, and set boundaries to protect your peace. Most importantly, we'll uncover how living with purpose can redefine your vision for success. Stay with me as we take this deep dive into creating a life of true fulfillment, a life where challenges become opportunities and every step you take brings you closer to the best version of yourself. Ready to begin? Let's go. Number one, the power of self-discipline. In daily life, imagine waking up on a crisp morning, sunlight gently streaming through your window. It's one of those days where everything feels possible, where you're ready to seize the day and make it yours. Self-discipline is the unsung hero behind moments like these, the quiet force that transforms potential into reality. Think back to the last time you set a goal, whether it was hitting the gym, eating healthier, or pursuing a career ambition. Did you stick with it? Or did life's distractions pull you away? Self-discipline isn't about harsh restrictions or joyless routines. It's about empowering yourself to create the life you want. Picture this, you're walking into a room filled with opportunities. Each door represents a dream or a goal. But here's the catch. You need the key of discipline to open them. Without it, those dreams remain locked, distant, unattainable. Now let's explore what makes self-discipline so transformative. It's not just about willpower or forcing yourself into action. It's about creating systems and habits that align with your values and priorities. Think about the small things you do every day. Choosing water over soda, taking 10 minutes to journal, or sticking to a bedtime routine. These choices compound over time, building a foundation of success. Nostalgia might creep in as you recall a time when you let go of something important, a New Year's resolution abandoned by February, a fitness journey that fizzled out, or a passion project that never saw the light of day. But here's where curiosity comes in. What if you tried again, but this time with a different approach? What if discipline wasn't about sacrifice, but about love for your future self? Imagine looking back a year from now, thanking yourself for the consistency you embraced today. Number two, overcoming fear to unlock true potential. Think about the last time you hesitated because of fear. Maybe it was speaking up in a meeting, taking the leap into a new career, or expressing your true feelings to someone. Fear, in its many forms, often masquerades as safety, whispering, stay here, it's comfortable. But what if fear isn't a wall blocking your path, but a doorway waiting to be opened? Fear isn't inherently bad. It's a survival mechanism, a signal that you're stepping into the unknown. Yet, when fear controls you, it becomes a prison, holding you back from the growth and experiences you're meant to embrace. Imagine standing at the edge of a high dive. Your heart races, your palms sweat, and every instinct screams for you to retreat. But then, you jump. The rush, the exhilaration, the pride, you've conquered the fear. That's the power waiting on the other side. Core content here focuses on how fear limits potential. It stops you from pursuing dreams, exploring relationships, or achieving personal growth. 
Overcoming fear starts with understanding its source. Is it fear of failure, fear of rejection, or simply the fear of change? Once you name it, you can face it. Strategies like visualization, grounding techniques, and small, consistent steps can help you turn fear into fuel. Now, think back to childhood. Remember the thrill of climbing trees or riding a bike for the first time? Back then, fear was fleeting. A challenge to overcome, not a barrier to avoid. Recalling those moments stirs a sense of nostalgia, a longing to reconnect with that fearless, adventurous spirit. But here's the curiosity. What if you could channel that childlike bravery today? What would you attempt if fear didn't hold you back? Imagine the adventures, the successes, and the connections waiting on the other side of courage. Number three, mastering the art of letting go. Close your eyes and imagine carrying a heavy backpack. It's filled with rocks, each one representing a regret, a grudge, or an unmet expectation. The weight slows you down, draining your energy and joy. Letting go is the art of setting that backpack down, of releasing what no longer serves you so you can move forward freely. Letting go doesn't mean giving up. It means accepting reality as it is, not as you wish it to be. Think of a river. It doesn't cling to the rocks or fight the current. It flows, adapting to the twists and turns. This is the essence of letting go, finding peace in flow, rather than resistance. Core content here delves into the psychology of attachment. Whether it's a past relationship, a failed project, or an unfulfilled dream, holding on often stems from fear. Fear of loss, fear of the unknown, fear of starting over. But the truth is, clinging to the past keeps you stuck. Growth comes from releasing the old to make room for the new. Remember a time when you let go of something painful, perhaps a breakup, a toxic friendship, or an outdated belief. It hurt at first, but eventually you felt lighter, freer. Nostalgia tugs at these memories, reminding you that letting go isn't about loss, it's about liberation. Now, ask yourself, what are you holding on to right now that's weighing you down? And what would your life look like if you let it go? Curiosity invites you to explore this question, to envision a future unburdened by the past. What might you discover about yourself, your strength, and your capacity for joy? Number four, building emotional resilience for tough times. Imagine standing in the middle of a storm, the winds howl, the rain lashes against you, and the world feels overwhelming. Now, picture yourself holding an umbrella that doesn't break, no matter how fierce the storm gets. Emotional resilience is that unyielding umbrella, a tool that shields you in life's toughest moments. It's not about avoiding the storm, it's about enduring it with grace and strength. Emotional resilience begins with recognizing that challenges are an inevitable part of life. Think of the times you've faced difficulties, a failed relationship, a career setback or a personal loss. These moments may have left you feeling defeated, but they also shaped you, making you stronger than you were before. Resilience doesn't erase the pain, it teaches you how to navigate it. Core to building emotional resilience is self-awareness. Understanding your emotions, triggers and coping mechanisms allows you to respond rather than react to life's difficulties. Mindfulness practices, journaling, or simply taking a moment to breathe can help anchor you in the present. Resilience isn't built overnight. It's a skill honed through practice and perseverance. As nostalgia settles in, think back to your younger self, a time when you might have fallen off a bike, failed an exam, or lost a close friend. Back then, you probably felt like the world was ending. But with time, those moments turned into lessons and you found your footing again. Resilience is proof of your growth. Curiosity invites you to consider this. How can you cultivate even greater emotional strength today? What tools, habits or practices could you adopt to weather future storms? 
Picture a version of yourself who faces adversity with calm and confidence. That future is within reach. Number five, the importance of setting boundaries. Picture this. You're pouring water into a glass, but no matter how much you pour, it spills over the edges because the glass is cracked. This is what happens when you live without boundaries. Your energy leaks out, leaving you drained and unable to focus on what matters most. Boundaries are the glue that holds your glass together, ensuring you can fill yourself before pouring into others. Setting boundaries isn't about being selfish, it's about self-preservation. When you say no to what doesn't serve you, you're saying yes to what truly matters. This might mean declining extra work when you're overwhelmed or stepping back from a toxic friendship. Boundaries are acts of self-respect, signaling to others and yourself that your time, energy and well-being are valuable. The core of healthy boundaries lies in communication and consistency. It's not enough to recognize what you need you must express it clearly and uphold it firmly. This might feel uncomfortable at first, especially if you're used to being a people pleaser. But over time, those around you will respect the limits you set. Looking back, you might recall moments when you overextended yourself, sacrificing your needs to please others. Nostalgia might bring a bittersweet smile as you remember the times you wished you'd spoken up for yourself. But those memories also highlight how far you've come and how much more you can grow. Number six, cultivating patience in a fast-paced world. Think about the last time you were stuck in traffic or waiting in line at a crowded coffee shop. Did you feel your impatience bubble up, wishing you could fast forward through the delay? In a world where instant gratification is the norm, Patience has become a rare and undervalued virtue. Yet, it's one of the most powerful tools for achieving long-term success and happiness. Patience isn't about enduring delays. It's about finding peace within them. It's the calm that comes from trusting the process, knowing that good things take time. Whether you're pursuing a career goal, building a relationship, or mastering a skill, Patience allows you to stay committed, even when results aren't immediate. At its core, cultivating patience involves shifting your perspective. Instead of seeing waiting as wasted time, view it as an opportunity to reflect, learn, or simply be present. Practices like meditation, deep breathing, and mindful observation can help you embrace the moment rather than resist it. As nostalgia washes over you, remember a time when patience paid off, perhaps the months you spent saving for a big purchase or the hours you dedicated to learning something new. Those memories remind you that patience isn't passive, it's an active investment in your future. Curiosity sparks the question, what could you achieve if you embraced patience fully? Picture yourself approaching life with calm and confidence, unshaken by delays or setbacks. The possibilities are limitless. Number seven, the role of gratitude in personal growth. Close your eyes and think about three things you're grateful for right now. Maybe it's the warm coffee you had this morning, the supportive friend who always checks in, or the roof over your head. Gratitude, though simple, is transformative. It shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant, opening the door to greater joy and fulfillment. Gratitude is more than a fleeting feeling. It's a practice that rewires your brain. Studies show that regular expressions of gratitude improve mental health, strengthen relationships, and even boost physical well-being. By taking time to acknowledge the good in your life, you cultivate a mindset of abundance rather than scarcity. Core practices of gratitude include journaling, expressing thanks to others, and mindful reflection. These habits don't just enhance your mood, they build resilience, helping you navigate challenges with a sense of perspective and hope. Nostalgia might bring to mind a moment when someone's gratitude touched your heart, a handwritten thank you note, 
a heartfelt compliment, or a simple gesture of appreciation. Those memories highlight how powerful gratitude can be in strengthening connections and uplifting spirits. Now curiosity beckons. What would your life look like if gratitude became a daily habit? Imagine starting and ending each day with a grateful heart, finding beauty in the ordinary. How might this simple shift transform your outlook and your relationships? Number eight, transforming failures into life lessons. Failure. The word alone can evoke a sinking feeling, a reminder of times you stumbled, fell short, or felt like you let yourself or others down. But what if failure wasn't the end of the story? What if it was the beginning of something greater? Failure, when reframed, is one of life's greatest teachers. Think of a time you failed at something important. Maybe it was a project at work, a personal goal, or a relationship. In the moment, the sting of disappointment might have felt unbearable. But looking back, that failure likely taught you a valuable lesson about resilience, adaptability, or perseverance. Core to transforming failure into growth is adopting a growth mindset. Instead of viewing setbacks as reflections of your worth, see them as opportunities to learn and improve. Journaling, seeking feedback, and celebrating small wins can help you shift your perspective. Nostalgia may bring memories of past failures that once seemed catastrophic, but with time, those moments likely lost their sting, becoming milestones on your journey. They remind you of your ability to rise again, stronger and wiser. Curiosity whispers. What lessons might you uncover from recent failures? How could you use those experiences to propel yourself forward? Picture a life where failure isn't feared, but embraced as a stepping stone to success. Number nine, the impact of positive thinking on success. Imagine waking up and telling yourself, today will be a good day. That simple affirmation sets the tone for your thoughts, actions and outcomes. Positive thinking isn't about ignoring challenges, it's about approaching them with optimism and confidence. Positive thinking shapes how you interpret the world. When faced with obstacles, an optimistic mindset helps you see solutions instead of problems. This doesn't mean you'll never feel discouraged, but it does mean you'll recover faster, armed with a belief in your ability to overcome. Core practices for fostering positivity include affirmations, visualization, and surrounding yourself with uplifting people. These habits create a ripple effect influencing not only your mindset, but also your relationships and opportunities. Looking back, you might recall moments when a positive outlook turned the tide, whether it was acing an interview because you believed in yourself, or salvaging a tough day with a smile and good humor. Nostalgia reminds you of positivity's power. Curiosity nudges you to ask, how might positive thinking transform your current challenges? What doors could it open, and what possibilities could it reveal? Imagine a future where optimism fuels your journey, lighting the way to success. Number 10. Living with purpose. Defining your vision. Picture yourself standing at the crossroads of your life. In one direction lies the familiar path, safe but unremarkable. In the other lies a road that calls to your soul, a path aligned with your values, passions, and dreams. Living with purpose is about choosing that second road, even when it feels uncertain or challenging. Purpose isn't just a lofty ideal, it's a guiding star that gives your life meaning. It's what drives you to get out of bed in the morning, to overcome obstacles, and to keep going when things get tough. Defining your purpose begins with reflection, what are your passions? What impact do you want to make? What legacy do you want to leave? At its core, living with purpose requires clarity and courage. Writing down your goals, creating a vision board, and revisiting your why can help you stay focused. 
Purpose isn't static, it evolves as you grow, adapting to new experiences and insights. Looking back, you might recall moments when you felt deeply connected to your purpose, whether it was helping someone in need, creating something meaningful, or pursuing a dream. Those memories remind you of the joy and fulfillment that comes from living authentically. Curiosity sparks the question, what steps can you take today to align your life with your purpose? Imagine a future where every action, big or small, brings you closer to your vision. That future starts now. As we wrap up this transformative journey, remember that the power to change your life lies entirely in your hands. The habits, mindsets and principles we've explored today aren't just concepts. They're the keys to unlocking your potential and living a life of purpose, resilience and growth. Take the first step today, no matter how small, because every great journey begins with that one decision to move forward. If you've made it this far, Drop a hundred in the comments to show that you're among the rare 0.01% who follow through and commit to their growth. If you're serious about taking your life to the next level, join this incredible community by hitting the subscribe button. Let's keep striving, growing and building the lives we're destined to live together.